Welcome to Not Today Woodworking. This week, we're going to make this walnut end grain butcher block cutting board. Um, it's a great project, it's very straightforward. It has a small amount of actual working time, but it does take a little bit longer because of glue drying time. It makes a great gift. Um, it's a great item to sell if you're interested in making money, and um, it's fairly simple to make. So stick around, see how we did it. So here we go. We're gonna start by grabbing a piece of eight quarter walnut, cutting it to rough length, which in this case is 24 inches. It's about a six inch wide board, so I'm gonna cut two of these lengths. Now I'm gonna plane it down to an inch and three quarters. One thing I've noticed with this planer is sometimes the rollers don't grab, and a good tip I've found is to clean them off with mineral spirits. It really helps them to come back to life and work like they're new again. Next, I'm gonna go over to the bench and set up a really rudimentary bench dog. Um, this is just something that's gonna hold my piece in place while I joint one edge with a hand plane. This is a Wood River number five. Really like it. I'm getting one edge nice and square so that can ride against the table saw fence to square up the opposite edge. I'm gonna go over to the table saw and set my blade to exactly 90 degrees. What's really great and handy for doing this is these little angle finders. You zero it against the table. It's got a magnet in it so it sticks to the blade and you can set it to an exact angle. Now I'm gonna run my piece, set my fence at an inch and three quarters so that the pieces are perfectly square. Um, what you miss here is me gluing those pieces together into this slab. I had a camera malfunction so we didn't catch that. But now I'm cleaning up the edge of that slab that I created after about two hours drying time. Now that clean edge can also run against the fence to create the individual slices that will get glued together again to become the board. So the sacrificial fence here and I'm gonna run a test piece to make sure that my cut comes out to the right size. The thickness of this, in this case, an inch and a half, is gonna be the thickness of the cutting board. So run the slab through, cutting it into many inch and a half slices. The other pair of hands you see is my buddy Alex. He was hanging out at the house while I was working on the project, so he gave me a little bit of help. Um, he gets a little bit crazy sometimes getting his hands kinda close to the blade, so safety tip, remember, keep your hands away from the blade at all times. Push sticks are great to help do that. Okay, we got them all sliced up. We're gonna take them over to the clamps and get ready for glue. We're gonna use a lot of glue. We don't want any voids or air pockets or anything like that in our final cutting board. Working with food, you don't wanna give any liquids or anything the chance to get down in there and go bad. So, lots of glue. Squeeze out's a good thing, don't be afraid of it. So we're gonna tip them over one by one and move them into position. Try to keep them as even on the ends and even on the top and bottom as we can. We'll get them all ready to go and apply the clamps. Calls really would have helped me here. Calls are basically pieces on the top and bottom that are sandwiched together. They're covered in packing tape or something that'll keep glue from sticking to them. And you apply pressure to the top and bottom to keep all the pieces even in that direction. I wasn't too worried about using calls because I have a planer. So after I'm done, any unevenness in the surface, I can just smooth out through the planer. Clean up the squeeze out here as much as I can with a damp rag. After I do that, I'll apply a couple more clamps on the top to even out the pressure. And while we wait for it to dry, I'll go ahead and remind you to subscribe. I gave it about three hours to dry. Now I'm taking clamps off. We're gonna get it out and check out the almost finished product. You can see in this shot, just a little bit of unevenness in the surface and how the pieces were aligned drying. So I'm gonna take it over to the planer and just give it a light pass on each side just to smooth that out. Now I take it to the table saw to clean up the edges. And going through the planer, it did leave a little bit of chip out on the leading and trailing edges. So this is me just cleaning up those sides as well. 
After that's all cleaned up, I'm gonna take it over to the table for a sanding. This is just 60 grit sandpaper. I didn't go up through any finer grits, I just stuck with 60. And I'm gonna give it a nice even sanding on all the sides. After I've done that, I'll do the edges and the corners, knock those down, make sure they're not too sharp. Now sanding's done, I'm using a tack cloth just to wipe off any of the sanding dust. And then I'm gonna coat it in a food grade mineral oil. So I'm just gonna apply heavy liberal coats of mineral oil, and let those soak in. As it does, I'll apply another coat. I do a total of three coats per side. Once it seems like the wood is fully saturated with mineral oil, I don't add any more. Oiling is something you do throughout the life of the board. It keeps it sealed so that it doesn't soak up any liquids from the food that you cut on it. And we are done. So here's the finished product. I hope you enjoy building it with us. It's a fairly simple, straightforward project if you're just getting into woodworking. It makes a great gift, housewarming, Christmas, etc. It's a good thing to sell if you're interested in making money and it's really useful, looks great sitting around your house. Quick note about care. Um, for end grade cutting boards like this, wash them with a gentle detergent um, and you should oil them with mineral oil regularly. If you do, they'll last your family for years and years. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Please remember to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.